I'm Jeremy Chatterway. I'm a consultant neurologist and chief investigator of the MS Smart trial, and it's my absolute pleasure today to speak to you about this trial. So developing medication can take many years, from the experimental laboratory work into early phase human trials before we get to the late phase to see if that effect is truly there. In MS Smart, what we've done is we've pursued three different medications against a dummy medication in one go. And we call this a multi-arm trial. And to our knowledge, this is the first time in the world that this has ever been attempted in progressive neurological conditions. Because these drugs were available for other conditions, we were immediately able to take these into this mid-phase trial. And we knew well their safety record, and it enabled a much smoother start to this process. So then, you'll want to know what happened in this trial. Uh, it's been a long work over these last five years. I think the first thing to say is this trial was conducted very effectively and very safely. Patients with multiple sclerosis stayed in the trial, and we were able to get measurements and results and scans that we needed to determine whether these medications were helpful or not. Unfortunately, the result of this trial showed that there's no evidence that these medications could have an effect on progressive multiple sclerosis. This is disappointing news for yourselves, all those who took part in the trial, ourselves, and the charities who funded it. Even though these medications haven't shown an effect in this trial, we've still gained a huge amount of vital information. For example, we now have a better understanding of the biology of progression in progressive multiple sclerosis, it's told us that these pathways perhaps weren't as important as we thought and will open up new avenues so that we can develop fresh medications that we can use in the next cycle of trials. And I really don't think that this should be underestimated as how vital this information is to scientists around the world.